Good morning, everybody, from Red Cliff, Alberta. This is where we made it to last night. We uh, got quite a full day behind us. We drove into the night, into the morning. So the sun's up already. We're getting started on our next day. Finally broke out the screens for the first time this year. Well, for the first time, yeah, this year, this season. It was cooking in here. I woke up at probably about like seven in the morning and it was like cooking, like an oven in here. <laughs> so I, I threw these in right away, threw my fan on in the back and immediately just pure comfort, fell right back asleep. And it's just, I love this time of year when I, when I can have these in because I get the fresh air. It's like sleeping in a tent almost. It's fantastic. I'll show you where we're at. We're at the Esso in Red Cliff. Here's my load. It's a very light load. It's just a couple of thousand pounds. I can't even feel it behind me. It's that light. There's that. We got Petro Pass. McDonald's across the street over there. I'm gonna get the truck ready to go here. And then I'm gonna head on down the road. We are headed west to a place I haven't been before, inside a place that I have been before. I've been dropping hints for the last week or so that we're going to a different place. I'll tell you today that we're going into British Columbia, far deep into British Columbia, all the way to the west coast. And I'll give you the biggest hint of all today, are you ready? The biggest hint of all of where we're going. It involves a ferry. We're taking this thing on a boat. So if you guessed Victoria, Vancouver Island, you were correct. We are going to the island. I have never been there. The riddle was a place I've never been before inside a place I have been. Obviously I've been to British Columbia before, but I've never been to Vancouver Island ever. I've been close. My sister went to Bible school on Thetis Island and uh, we drove her out there when I was just a kid. I was uh, a lot younger then. I, I think that's close to Vancouver Island there somewhere. I don't think I have ever been to Vancouver Island or Victoria. So it's something new. I know Diesel's never been there either, so... It should be fun. The ferry ride's not nearly as long as the ferry ride to Newfoundland on the East Coast. I think it's about two hours here. But I have to be there by tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time at the ferry to check in. And then we board, and then at 4 p.m. it's supposed to depart. So it's only one hour from when we're boarding to when we're departing, so they must board pretty quick. It's obviously not as big of an operation as Marine Atlantic on the East Coast, but that's where we're headed, guys. Victoria, British Columbia. I rotated my tires this last time I was at home and uh, the centerpiece for in here got damaged it couldn't be reused those things are so brittle if you don't put them in just right they get all dented and damaged so I got to replace that yet but it's not on the top of my priority list it's like near the top but not exactly there the top of my priority list right now is getting to that ferry on time I can't be late we just passed Bassano Alberta about halfway between Medicine Hat and Calgary we're about an hour and a half down the road from where we started bugs hit my windshield right in front of the camera can you see it yeah it's right there right in front of your view and my wipers do nothing but just spread it around on the windshield even if I like immediately as soon as they hit the windshield before they could dry I turn on the washer fluid right away is right in the wipers all it does is just smear the bug around my windshield so 
I'm just gonna jump out real quick here and uh, oh, where is it? That's the wrong one. Here it is. Here it is. I'm gonna jump out and uh, give it a quick shot of rocket spray, and then we'll just clean it off with our wipers. And that should work better than uh, than the regular washer fluid. Hopefully the wipers don't just keep spreading it around. If it does, I'll just quickly jump up there with a rag and clean that off. But I want to see if the wipers will work first. All right, got that soak on there for a bit and wipe it off. Ah, it worked. Perfect. No more bugs. We've gone around Calgary. We're on the uh, west side now, facing south. So we went around the top. We merging up with the one on the west side. We gotta go a little further west yet here. I can still remember. Uh, this is called Stony Trail. It's like the perimeter around Calgary. I can still remember when this didn't exist. Also. We used to have to drive right through the city of Calgary every single time coming out west. That was the only way to do it. Unless you wanted to go way around the countryside, right? Here's our petrol pass. Our last cheap juice before getting to the mountains. Well, cheaper. <laughs> Nothing's cheap nowadays. fuel too of course there is all right then we shall wait every single fuel island here is oh that guy's done hmm that guy's just parked in the fuel island or he just got there I'm gonna line up behind this guy because I can see that he's actually fueling his truck now. The other guy's just sitting there. Check all my straps. They should all still be tight. If I made it this far, I'm still checking every time I stop anyway. I can't go too tight with these ones because I don't want to crush the freight. Back here, I want to make sure that my tarps aren't slipping. I'm very curious to see what the fuel economy will be. We did really good going across the prairies. It's going to go down now that we're going into the mountains, but <laughs> it'll be interesting to see. I'm guessing over seven miles per gallon for sure. Okay, so we did really good. Uh, about 452 liters. 452 liters in gallons. That is 119.406 US liquid gallons. 119.406 US gallons. A US gallon is 3.785 liters. And 32.59 liters per 100 kilometers in miles per gallon. 7.22 miles per gallon US. Nice. Miles per gallon. I knew it was going to be good. That's a good day. My average is between six and six and a half. So we're well above average. And that was for about, uh, well, it was 13, almost 1400 kilometers or like a thousand some miles. Not too bad at all for this old girl. Good job, Lou. Good job. That is awesome. I'm gonna run inside, grab a, a coffee, because we're headed into the mountains from here. Go grab a parking spot and get out of people's way. Next stop is the Rocky Mountains. Going up to Golden, BC, and that's where we're gonna stop and take our walk today. And from there on out, we'll be, uh, well, we'll see how far we get.
they have done a lot on that pass that used to be called the snake pit they've four laned it all the way through there now it's amazing it looks like they're just finishing it all up it'll be done soon that's amazing way way better than it used to be I don't know how many of you remember that but that was nuts so we're gonna pull in here uh, park at the Husky or nearby here at the I think it's an Esso now actually I keep calling it Husky and uh, I'm gonna get our walk done today got just enough time to get get this exercise in yet Here, no, they don't want me parking here. Okay. 400 meters, turn left on 12th Street North and then turn right in 20 meters. And all these guys, they take up so much space. They can tighten it up a little bit and more of us can fit in here. Let me see if I can fit in here. All right, so we're here in Golden. I'm gonna quickly get this walk in, get my three miles behind me today so I can get that done. And then we're gonna go, go, go. As far as we can. I'm still not sure exactly how far we're gonna make it. I'd love to make it down to Hope, BC, but mm, we might have to swing into Kamloops, stay there for the night, because then it's just down the Coquihalla in the morning, right? It's pretty, it's just down. It's, it's when you get down to the lower mainland, around the Vancouver, like Chilliwack to Vancouver area. That's the congestion. That's where you gotta worry about all the traffic because traffic is just nuts. And I've gotta be at the ferry at 3 p.m. before rush hour. So I should be able to slip into town between rush hours, morning and, even, morning and afternoon rush hour. I don't wanna get caught up in all that traffic. It's nuts down there, nuts. It's like a little bowl, right? There's mountains surrounding it and there's this little valley and there's a, how many million people living in this tiny little valley? And they all have one road that goes into town. One road. Uh, and we all gotta share it, so it should be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna quickly get this done. I won't film too much on this walk because obviously the scenery of today has already taken up a lot of footage. Uh, but let's just get this done and let's continue. Okay, so. Alright, ready to go. Lock the doors here. Get this done. I'm still on schedule to be about five hours early to the ferry. So I might have to actually drag my feet a little bit more yet tomorrow. I want to make sure I get down to the lower mainland to the area there early, but then I'm gonna to have to find a place to park and wait. Uh, it's better to be early. I just can't show up to the terminal more than an hour before departure, so I can't be there before 3 p.m. But I'll be in the area probably around 11 a.m.? No, 4. Yeah, about 11 at noon, somewhere in there. So we'll see what happens. We'll worry about that tomorrow. The doors are locked. Okay. Let's uh, track workout. Start walking. 3, 2, 1. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Nice fresh mountain air on this walk. Might even call it a mountain walk. Prairie boy on a mountain walk. Can you imagine living here? Oh, you guys are so lucky. I know it's ridiculously expensive to live in British Columbia. You gotta pay the uh, the scenery tax. Everything's expensive here. But, man, getting to wake up to these views every day? Come on. I guess it's not a special though if you see it every day. I'd love to take the family out here on vacation. I'm sure I can get like an Airbnb cottage or something up in the mountains. And we can get someone to watch our dogs. Or we can just take the camper out. Stay at like a campground in the mountains here somewhere.
done. We're coming up to the first scale in British Columbia, just past Golden. According to Trucker Path, when I left town, it was closed, but it was open most of the day. It just closed like 20 minutes ago. So we'll see. Here's the signs for it. It's just around the corner. A closed scale is always the best kind of scale. made it to Merritt, British Columbia. And we found a parking spot here. We got here pretty late, really late actually. I'm surprised we got a spot. But I guess someone had left just as I rolled in and opened up this tiny narrow little spot. Took it, it's mine. 
So I got up now, just got the truck ready. Pre-trip's all done. I'm getting ready to roll out. We have to be at the ferry by 3 p.m. today. We're going to Vancouver Island. Never been to Vancouver Island before. I'm excited to go. Let's see what the ferry's like. I can only get there an hour before departure time. Departure time is at four. So they must board us pretty quickly, I guess. It's much different than Marine Atlantic on the East Coast where you take the ferry to Newfoundland. But we're gonna get this stuff over onto the island and we're gonna unload it first thing tomorrow morning. So hopefully nothing goes wrong today. <laughs> <laughs> Doing something new again, it makes me a little nervous. Especially when there's a boat involved. And the ocean. I'm a prairie boy. Prairie boys don't belong in the ocean. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. The ferry is in tomorrow's video. <laughs> I'm going to start filming it right now, though, so don't forget to subscribe and tune in so you don't miss it. Remember, stay in your lane. Keep your stick on the ice. Use your turn signals and subscribe to Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow.